Hello once again and welcome to today's chemistry class for SS1. In today's class, we are going to be discussing about the air. So, just before we proceed, I would like to tickle your fancy a bit. A neutron walks into a pharmacy shop and asks how much for a tablet. The tender replies, for you there is no charge. I'm sure you know that neutrons have no charge. So let's take a good look at our lesson objectives. At the end of this lesson, the students should be able to explain the air around us and the components of the air. Going forward now, what is air? Air is a mixture of gases composed mainly of nitrogen and oxygen and small amounts of carbon dioxide, noble gases and water vapor. The air, as you know, is an envelope of gas covering the earth. The air is the general name for the mixture of gases that makes up the Earth's atmosphere. Air around us is a mixture of many gases and dust particles. So, the air is the clear gas in which living things live and breathe. It has an indefinite shape and volume. It has no color or smell. It has mass and weight. Chemical composition of air. Nearly all of the Earth's atmosphere is made up of only five gases. Nitrogen, oxygen, water vapor, argon, and carbon dioxide. In the following percentages, nitrogen has 78%. Oxygen has about 20.9%, argon has about 0.9%, carbon dioxide has about 0.03%, while neon has about 0.0018%, helium has about 0.0052%, and krypton has about 0.0001. 114%. So, what are the properties of air? Air has weight, that's why it is matter. Air can be compressed. Air takes up space, amongst the properties of it being a matter. Air contains some water vapor and also air has velocity that is in wind combustion most substances burn in air burning or combustion is a chemical process which is frequently accompanied by the production of heat and light combustible material usually combine with the atmospheric air for the reaction to occur. A good example is when candle wax, a hydrocarbon, is ignited. It melts, it vaporizes and decomposes into its component elements, namely hydrogen and carbon. These then combine with atmospheric oxygen during the process of burning to produce water and carbon four oxide. Now let's take a look at types of flames. We have the hydrogen flame. The hydrogen flame burns with a very faint non-luminous light. The structure of hydrogen flame is simple, consisting of only two regions, the unburnt zone 
and the zone of complete combustion. Another type of flame is the candle flame. This burns with luminous flame. There are four zones. Zone of unburnt gas around the wick. The bright yellow luminous zone where there is co incomplete combustion of hydrocarbon due to insufficient air supply. The barely visible non-luminous zone on the outside where complete combustion of carbon occurs due to sufficient air then the blue zone at the base of the flame with a region of complete combustion. We also have the Bunsen flame. A Bunsen burner is built with an air inlet at the base of the burner so that a stream of air can be supplied to the flame together with the fuel gas. A Bunsen burner has three zones, the unburnt gas zone, the luminous zone, the outermost non-luminous zone which has increased in size because the flame has sufficient air. Summary In this lesson, we have studied about the air around us. Assessment Mention three constituents of air. And so with this, we have come to the end of this class. Thanks for watching and see you in the next class.